finally, if you were with us last week, you remember Nan Jacobson, who's known for her clay horses and as the wife of a craftsman who's famous for another medium, her husband, Russ. Now, Russ is able to take something we remember from our childhood and somehow make it magical once again. of us have fond memories of riding rocking horses when we were little, but I don't think my rocking horse looked like this. I make childhood much more fun. Russ Jacobson believes that that small memory from childhood should hold a little more charm and magic. That's why he makes not just rocking horses, but heirlooms. He loves to meet adults who've ridden his creations as children. Just wanted to say hello, Russ. I had one of your rocking horses when I was a child. I used it hard, my niece used it hard, and now my daughter's using it hard. You could say Russ has carved a home and a career out of the rural Tennessee woods, both figuratively and literally. He started out as a wood craftsman making furniture and boxes. But since 1982, when a friend requested a rocking horse, he pretty much has made nothing but rocking horses or other animals. He became a Dr. Doolittle of sorts, but his animals never get sick. I never thought that anything would sell but the rocking horses, tradition, you know. And then I would make a duck or a bunny or a bird or lions and tigers and bears and I found out that those things sell just as well or better. And after I've done, gotten done sanding this, now of course this is just the roughest sanding, it goes through 20 more grits until it gets to 400 grit, and then when it's smooth it gets oiled and uh, turns dark, and that's when it really turns into something. Russ makes his rocking animals from the woods native to Tennessee and from around the world, such as oak, cherry, walnut, poplar, cedar, and mahogany. When the oil goes on and it turns that rich, dark color, and I don't color anything, I just oil. Even the antlers on the moose are the natural color of the wood, or the burl wood used to make this tiger seems to have just the right coloration. I've been working on this tiger for several months now and uh, purchased by a couple and I believe he went to Princeton and wants a rocking Princeton tiger. One of his most popular creations is the tortoise and the hare. He loves turtles and many of his customers love rabbits, so the two together have become a hot seller. When Russ makes a rocking horse, or a tortoise and a hare in this case, he actually wants them to be ridden. They're not just show pieces, so I have to ride in a side saddle position today because of the skirt. <laughs> they really are rocking horses or, or hares. I prefer to see them get used hard. Well, it's not always going to be owned by someone who strictly thinks of it as a piece of sculpture sitting on that pedestal. Someday it will be inherited or be given to a child and those children will enjoy it just as much then as they do now. And I got to make another sale, open up another space in my shop for the next piece. His workshop in White County is a veritable Noah's Ark of animals. There always seems to be some four-legged friend being fashioned from a fallen tree. The wood sometimes just screams, I want to be an aardvark, I want to be a, a, a mule, I want to be a horse, I want to be something, and it tells me what it wants to be. And it's like fighting a rototiller. If you just go with the flow, it won't work you too hard, and if you fight it, it doesn't come out quite right. And when those pieces don't come out just right, he calls on his wife, Nan. She's a clay sculptor and accomplished artist. Russ says he may be able to work with wood, but he can't draw a straight line. We draw from each other's strengths. We don't look for the, the weaknesses, and we each have our weaknesses, but we each have our strengths. I try to make her tools and jigs so that uh, she can do her work easier. Uh, she comes in and, and makes my life a, 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 just a dream with one stroke of the pencil. 
Whether it's Nan's pencil stroke or Russ's way with his woodworking tools, each animal seems to come alive, especially as the oil is smoothed into the wood, allowing that natural grain to almost glow. And that glow may not compare to the glow of today's video games, but some lucky child will get this and be able to ride off into the sunset for many years, then hand it down to their children. It's a wonderful feeling to know that long after I'm gone, the kids will still be having a big time and using their imaginations.